Kia Rock Princess, what it is and what it do, man. 414 is the area code, like she said, and we here, Blacklist represented. That's good. Alright, so I'm here, I'm going to ask Kia a few really relevant questions about Milwaukee, but first off, for those who aren't familiar with Milwaukee, define the city in your terms. Define Milwaukee? Man. Um, Hustlerville, for real. Um, Hustlerville, plenty of snow, <laughs> fucked up weather, man, a lot of people, but, um, man, Milwaukee is Milwaukee, man, it, we, we like, uh, I wouldn't say we like any other state, cheese state, one, one, one of the things, but, uh, uh, just a lot of people, very, pretty cool people, man, very nice place to be, be around, you know, right now, as you see the weather, it's 106 degrees, so yeah. we don't even know what to expect out of here. <laughs> I say but we for the most it. part, yeah, we deserved it because yeah. we had a long winter. But for the most part, people from everywhere, so you're gonna get a lot of different um, variety of mixture of music here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of different tastes of everything. So, uh, what do you think are some of the challenges in Milwaukee? And do you have any thoughts on uh, what? positive changes you can make for songs. Now what are we talking about? Are we talking about music wise or the city as a as city as a whole? Changes. Oh I'm not gonna get pop political with y'all. I'm not gonna get on politics and nothing man. We need to change that office a little bit. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, we need to walk away. That's all I wanna say. But uh, for the most part uh Milwaukee people really as any anywhere we all need to come together. Uh, you probably like, I don't know if that's true now, probably one of the third uh, most segregated city. We're not the most segregated. The most segregated, Senses. so yeah, we just need to come together mostly um, and find something for our youth to do, you know what I'm saying? Um, anything. Um, we're, we're pretty much in the same boat, I feel like, in America, period. Every Mer America, period, is in the same boat, but for Milwaukee, it'll be us coming together and finding something better for our youth to really engage in and get into because they are our future, and um, judging by it, if we don't do something about it, our future ain't gonna be looking too bright. So hopefully we can do something about that. There are places to go, places you have to hit in Milwaukee. Well, you gotta stop through the hood. Anything, you gotta stop in the inner city, man, North Town. You gotta come to, well, you gotta hit Fond Lac, you gotta hit Burlock, you gotta go to Center Street. I mean, the people, the people here is good people, you know? Um, like I said, it's people from everywhere. You gotta hit, um, what are some places? You gotta hit the lakefront. Today is nothing too much popping. We all trying to stay cool, but for the most part, I mean, the lakefront is a place you might want to hit. Um, as far as spots, um, is what clubs to hit or things like that. I mean, you got no tape, you got your 618, you got your textures, you had your onyxes, you know, you got your, oh, let me not, let me not forget the uh, Notorious, uh, what was it, it used to be Amistad, uh, I don't even know if it's called Club Sugar or whatever, man, we got so many different um, varieties of things uh, for people to hit up here, but for the most part, you just got to come check us out and see where we are, you know, your typical Midwest state, but uh, we hold you down. How would you describe the Milwaukee hip hop scene, and where where do you find yourself in that? Is Milwaukee hip hop scene is finally coming up? Like you finally getting it together. Um, a lot of more artists are coming out. Before you only had so many um, hip hop artists you know, doing their thing. You baby Drew, you know, you know, you know, um, I mean, you just only had that much window of, uh, of hip hop to really listen to. Um, now it's like I said, we, since we are so many different people here, you get in so many different varieties, and maybe you might hear something that might give you that East Coast feel, that West Coast feel. So it's good to see all your different um, artists come out, even female artists, and getting more of them. So hopefully, I can pave the way for that uh, that uh, little yellow brick road to be uh, walked down. Uh, yeah, my name is Nakia, so Kia Park came from my government, Rap Princess. Um, because I, I guess rap was something that I did, and I did it well as a young, at a young age, that um, when I did put the princess on it, I meant that it was just a regal title, you know what I'm saying? It's just like T.I. called himself the king of, king of the South. Rap Princess just kind of stuck, you know? Yeah, I, I've held that throne for a minute now, I feel like, so it's just a self-proclaimed pretty soon and we hopefully a uh, well-known name, house-known name, um, you'll be saying it soon. Hey, how would you describe
describe your your style of rap and what inspires you to, to rap in the way you do? My style of rap, smooth, sometimes laid back, not too edgy, um, not too soft either. But uh, I would say, uh, for the most part, when I do say something, I got something to say. Whether it is about me being out here, um, having a good time, or whether it's about me speaking on the things that I need. Man, the whole wordplay is, is ridiculous. That's all mostly I can tell you about me. Um, yeah, I mean, and I go, I come from, I come from myself, so I don't really uh, have any too many uh, real influences or whatever. I do have people that I, I would say I um, aspire to, you know, uh, be like. So, who are the people that who uh, whose careers that you do aspire to be like? Yeah. Oh, Queen Latifah. Um, I really uh, aspire. I really like how she has developed. Over her, yeah, she's like, been like the only female who's been holding down for almost 20 years in the game. And um, the longevity that she kept, um, Missy Elliott, her production, and how she's uh, branded artists, and um, how she developed so many artists, and not even just the artists, but her own label and everything like that. Um, who else? Um, I I would like to name the business plan of a lot of the male artists. Uh, whatever. I couldn't say that. Out of those two females, oh, and the Lauren Hills, of course. Um, just how she stayed true to herself, you know, and uh, I respect that about her a lot. And she was one of the artists that actually did come in the game and stay true to her. And um, and it worked for her. And that proved to me that you stay true to yourself, it can work for you too. So to any female that's out there trying to do their thing, any male out there trying to do their thing, and you getting static back from anybody saying that's not the way to go, you know what, that's probably the way to do. How do you feel about the term fem C? Do you embrace it or do you look at yourself as a rapper who happens to be a woman? Oh, fem C. You see, I never really got into the te technicalities of it. Like, you know, everybody, um, I know it, people usually have that little uh, debate on whether they should call a rapper, a female rapper, a fem, fem C or just a regular MC. I mean, if you're a female, you're a female, you know, I just feel like it's a slang term for calling you an MC, you know, um, I feel like me being a fan, she has nothing to do with my, you know, takes nothing away from my lyrical ability or, you know, how I come on the microphone, so I'm pretty cool with it, um, I, I feel like we get too much, we, we box ourselves in too much, um, as artists, and, um, you don't really want to do that, categorize yourself as anything, um, I try not to, but, I mean, if you're going to be called, if I, if I was to be called a FMC, I wouldn't have a problem with it. I am a female. I am an MC. It's not the only thing that I do, but uh, I wouldn't see, uh, I don't see the problem with it. Well, with that being said, do you feel any uh, amount of responsibility, you know, as a woman and, you know, yes. in rap? Yes. Um, one, uh, being always a stay true to myself, that would be the main thing. You know, to always stay true to myself. Uh, that's very important. If I was going to pitch anything to me, I'd become a young artist. And I, I, I don't like to just focus on just the girl part of everything. I just speak on the youth, period. Uh, I like to be um, something for the youth to actually look, at, you know, look up to. So um, that would be the, the main thing to be staying true to yourself. And, um, stay true to your craft. I write more than. I freestyle a lot, um, mostly because the stuff that I write, um, it's usually coming from the heart. I don't really formulate uh, raps, like, you know, how most people say, I sit there, I think of it, process it, think of it, whatever the beat make you feel. Um, half the time, it's a feeling that I already had. Uh, it could be uh, if I had a dope line or whatever, I was going through something today and I said, Oh man, you know, like what we need, bottles of Patron and some bomb ass weed, you know, or something like that, you know, I would be coming off with uh, a feeling of, man, we need this right now, or, uh, man, I'm hungry, let's go to the store and get us some more, you know. I only sit there mostly and uh, say this is what this song has to be about. Um, if it, if I'm partying, or if that's what I, you know, I initially had a feeling for, then that's probably what the song is going to be about. Um, Anything else, sometimes I do go in there and I just go at it. I might just freestyle a few, freestyle a few bars, come back, 
Um, you've seen a couple artists do that before. Kanye West is a little, man, it's on like the new. So I'm not speaking at the new to y'all. That, you know, that's, that never happened. Damn, this is just how I go about it, my process or whatever. So. Every artist knows that feeling that they get, you know, where you go, you done picked over, you got a hundred thousand, you know, instrumentals from SoundClick, and you done went through all of them. And for some reason, you only, you done went through a thousand of them, but you only picked five. Why? Because something about that beat probably resonated to you. Now, the same beat that might have worked for me might not work for, uh, you know, Mr. Ray Rizzy or any other artist or Ray Nitties or anything like that. Um, but uh, what might work for me, um, I might hear something. Um, somebody might throw on a beat and it might something might click. Like just back to what we were saying, how we formulate, how I formulate the rhyme. Um, whatever might click in my head that goes to the beat. Um, mostly will make a good beat to me. Cause I'll take an old 80s beat that you would probably just throw away and be like, man, that's a hit, you know? So um, it's just about all of how, how the beat makes me feel. You know, I don't care who was by. It's just all about how it made me feel. So what have you been working on since and what can we expect to see in the coming future? What happened? I've been working. You know what? Expect that Heirs to the Throne volume too. I know I've been Facebooking it and Twittering it for a minute, but um, we just want to make sure we're giving y'all exactly what y'all want. Um, Heirs to the Throne is exactly going to be for the people, for the people, or whatever. I've been, for the past year, I've been performing around um, Milwaukee and surrounding areas. Um, so if you've seen me at any some of these areas, I've probably for performed a couple songs that everybody been asking why they what this song wasn't on the volume one. Whatever songs those were, um, your own tops, your big house, big cars, your fuck you means, your, uh, can I say that on here? Can I? Okay, I'm good. All right. Your fuck you means. Uh, <laughs> um, what else we have on there? Right will be reblasted through this volume too. So if your car didn't catch it on Heirs to the Throne, I don't see how you didn't, but you're going to catch it again. And I don't, you know what? We might not have a DJ on there. Shout out to the whole Milwaukee family. Anybody who's been holding me down, all the DJs that's been holding me down, blasting me, credit, nail, what it do, DJ even what it is, new style what it is, baby, I see you, knowledge, everybody, all y'all that's been holding me down, this was good. Keep holding your girl down, man. We're going to take it to the top. We're going to take off like a rock. You know? All right, well, on that note, this has been Tenacity and another nice day in Milwaukee.